Hello, my name is Dennis Van Elstorp, and I'm with the Be Informed Project, and this is a brief vlog on antibiotic and antibiotic use and honeybee tracheomite control. As always, when we this is an epidemiological study, which means that you can't interpret its results as either conclusive, causative, protective, and we certainly are not attesting to any product's efficacy. What the results are meant to do is give you guidance about making management decisions. Antibiotics. By antibiotics use here, we mean strictly those antibiotics used for brood diseases, so Tylen and Teramycin. You can see about 20% of beekeepers used an antibiotic um, 12 months preceding the winter loss survey, but there was no difference in mortality between those who used it and did not use it. Beekeepers often use antibiotics pro prophylactically, so to prevent disease. This is really important to realize that those people who did use this product, it could be that if they stopped using it, disease outbreak would occur and they would have higher winter loss surveys. So um, you have to remember that if you're on that, t that antibiotic treadmill, it's hard to get off. And so you have to do that carefully with some consideration. Fumagillin is an antibiotic used for the control of Nosema. Certainly Nosema is getting a lot of attention. Um, there are two types of Nosema we're aware of now, Nosema apis and Nosema serrana. We know a lot about Nosema apis. It's that traditional winter Nosema that causes dysentery in the hive. Where Nosema serrana tends to be a dry summer Nosema, we're not really sure what it does to the hive. Its only known control is fumagillin. Um, and you can see though that there was no difference between those who treated with fumagillin in terms of winter survivorship and those who didn't. Again, that doesn't mean that fumagillin doesn't work. It could very well be that the people who did use it, had they not, would have lost a lot more colonies. Also, we did not collect data on how frequently and what dose they applied fumagillin, and so that may have an effect, and we have to look at that in future surveys. Mitothol is a product used for honeybee tracheomite control. Again, no difference between those people who used it who used the product and those who didn't in terms of winter survivorship. Generally speaking, it's my experience that honeybee tracheomites are not a cause of great concern um, since they first came into the country in the 1980s. Um, since then, they don't seem to be as problematic and so control is probably not needed. That concludes this very brief introduction about antibiotics and honeybee tracheomite. As always, you can go to the website and see our are the, the results individually and more results like these um, and be sure to sign up and participate in next year's survey.